at some point, at some point, a lot of white people like Mr. Adams undoubtedly throw their hands up and say, I'm done. I'm out of here. I've had it. Why is that surprising when for years the Rasmussen poll has found that of the four major racial groups in America, blacks, whites, Hispanics, and Asians, when asked which group is more likely to be racist, whites say blacks are more likely, Asians say blacks are more likely, Hispanics say blacks are more, more likely, and get this, blacks say blacks are more likely. Again, none said the majority of any group was racist, but of those who are, a greater percentage of blacks said blacks compare to the other three groups. So again, if you're somebody who once felt sympathetic towards blacks, as did Adams, who wants blacks to succeed, as does Adams, who feels he's done everything he can to show his concern and support, yet he's maligned as a white supremacist, at some point, people like Adams turn to the waiter and say, check please. Adams is saying nothing other than what this high school kid from a school in Minnesota said the other day about why he was leaving that school and enrolling in a private Christian school. Um, despite the board's attempt to deny it, District 196 schools are quickly becoming a place where promoting activism is actually more important than promoting education. I'll take, you, I'll take you back to my first day at RHS this fall. The principal came out and gave us a heartfelt speech about equality and standing together. Um, he began to list countless races such as Latino, Asian, expressing how much they matter and how important they are. But never once did he mention a race or identity that reflects me or half the kids that were in the class. Now, members of the board, I know you haven't been to school in a while, and I know most of the people, I know none of you or most of you don't have any kids left in the school district. Um, but you must admit how uncomfortable it will be to be characterized just by your skin color on the first day of school and be thought that you were wrong just because of your skin color. So I will never forget the look one of my friends gave me from across the room as we were sitting there listening to this blatant bias being expressed in the so-called equity statement by the leader of our school. To be clear, I don't need you to tell me that I matter, but hearing the condolences given to other races and leaving just one race out, it inevitably you'll start to feel like you've done something wrong. And in our principal's attempt to unify us, he instead created unwarranted boundaries and barriers between his students, pitting us against each other based on characteristics that we can't control. In another separate instance, I was told that writing all lives matter on the whiteboard was political and could be seen as offensive. When I questioned the teacher after class, she told me that she didn't have an answer and she just had to erase it, and it was quickly erased. There are political signs all over RHS specific, about specific races that matter, specific sexual orientations that matter, and specific perspectives that matter. But when I questioned the RHS administration about how these signs were political, they told me that they were supporting human rights. So when I questioned why the equity statement couldn't represent all students, they told me that to even ask that question was outlandish and offensive. And they, when I asked why that was, they told me, quote, whites have a pretty good situation right now, unquote. So is that not racism? Disregarding my question merely because of the color of my skin. To be honest, after enduring a year of the people in charge telling me that I'm a racist and I'm privileged and pointing out our irreversible differences, I've never noticed race more. And it's becoming the first thing I notice when I meet someone, which has never before been the case. RHS administration confidently told me that RHS students and staff are happy with their equity statement. But from the ex my experience in talking with other students, this is not the case. I know many kids who disagree with their teachers, but they're too scared to stand up because they're worried that their grades will be docked and their learning experience will be affected. My honors government teacher, I'm not going to say his name, but he's mentioned that Democrats care more about all people while Republicans only care about themselves. And he's also inferred to us that socialism is better than democracy. He even had a statue. He had a statue of a socialist leader in his classroom. Um, I have been, I've been told by a lot of kids that they just stay silent and adjust their schoolwork to reflect an acceptable opinion to secure a good grade. I've been approached by multiple teachers who have told me in private that they just want to say that they agree with me and they support me standing up, but they can't say it in front of the class for fear of being disciplined by the administration in some way or losing their jobs. There is clearly only one way to think in this district, and that is that they are teaching their kids to shut up if they don't agree. Now, members of the board, I want you to take a good look at yourselves in the mirror tonight and ask, are you really standing up for the equality of all people, or are you just pushing a damaging political ideology um, on, on our students? A fellow coworker at my job, who, by the way, is of color, discreetly told me that the schools seem to be pushing a very leftist agenda in class. 
This proves that not everyone is happy with your school, and not everyone who isn't happy is white. Now, due to all these instances I've mentioned and many more that I can't fit in this five-minute speech, I have decided to leave this district and continue school on a private Christian school online. And, and there will be sacrifices, and I will not get to walk in the graduation ceremony or attend milestones at RHS, but I will be able to learn in an environment that is not intent on punishing me daily for my skin color and political views. Now, regardless of how you take my speech, whether you just shrug it off as malarkey or Fox News talking points, I encourage you to think about it, because someday I'm going to be a leader. I may be the president, a governor, or just a professional golfer, but I will never stop believing that everybody has value, no matter their skin color or personal beliefs, and it's a shame that you're not going to be able to say that I was an alumni of RHS in District 196. Thank you. I mean, honestly, did actress Sally Field, when accepting a SAG Lifetime Achievement Award, practically apologize for being white? Honestly, I, I, I was a little white girl with a pug nose born in Pasadena, California. And when I look around this room tonight, I know my fight, as hard as it was, was lightweight compared to some of yours. Gee, I know a lot of actors. The odds are overwhelmingly against you no matter your race. But hey, white privilege, right? And then there's Joe Biden. I, I, I may be a white boy, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know where the power is. I know where the power You think I'm joking. I learned a long time ago about the divine nine. Well, to be honest, a lot of people would say that Biden is both white and stupid, but that's for another day. What's that? The great Eldersky has a pair of my pillow, my slippers, and his baby brown libertarian hands. Indeed, I do. These come in different colors. There's also different styles. Just call the number on your screen. And the my pillow is now my pillow 2.0. Even cooler, even more firm. There are over 100 products. Call the number on your screen or go to mypillow.com. Make sure you use promo code Elder. And this is a six pack. Mike Liddell calls them towels that work, meaning towels that, you know, absorb the water, which is what towels are supposed to do. Have you noticed? Go to stores. They got these towels all stacked up there. They look fluffy. They look pretty, but they don't actually work. These absorb the water. They, of course, come in different colors. MyPillow.com, promo code ELDER, or call the number on your screen that I mentioned. There are now over 100 products. And this, of course, is the Giza Dream Bed Sheet. Mine is in white because, after all, I am the black face of white supremacy, but you're not. You may want a different color. And, of course, they come in different sizes because beds come in different sizes. Finest cotton in the world grown in an area in Egypt known as Giza. Giza Dream Bed Sheets. Again, there are over 100 MyPillow products. Call the number on your screen or go to MyPillow.com, promo code ELDER. That's MyPillow.com, promo code ELDER. And do you think that when blacks proudly, cheerfully, enthusiastically make derogatory, offensive, racist comments about whites, it's going to have no effect whatsoever on how white people like Adams think about black people? What are white people superior at? <laughs> what exactly are white people superior at? They're real good at violence. Violence. Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white and you know this is happening, and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. What exactly are white people superior at? Insecurity. Pretending. Fear. Being a fearful of nothing. Being ignorant. Blame. Letting their egos control their every move. Superior at being What exactly are white people superior at? Oppression. Gaslighting. Lack of empathy. Intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? What exactly are white people superior at? Taking what's not there. Taking shit. Taking our ideas. Copycatting. Gentrification. Appropriating things that do not belong to them. Taking over other people's cultures and making you believe that they invented it. Maybe they're thinking of it as repurposing. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma was saying, them white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright it. They are very good at destruction of land, destruction of people, destruction of humanness. Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're conservative, like white people are really good 
at upholding white supremacy. How about claiming that, you know, they are actually a whole separate race when actually white DNA comes from the black female. So what exactly are white people superior? Honey, lying, stealing, and cheating. Manipulation. Withholding information. Lying. Telling lies. This anti-white black racism slash wokeism is degrading our society. Whites perceived as victimizers and blacks as victims. When that Georgia jogger, Armin Arbery, was shot and killed by whites, LeBron James, one of the wealthiest people in America, said blacks are afraid to leave their homes. We are scared as black people in America. Black men, black women, black kids, we are, we are terrified. Really? Let's look at non-violent interracial acts of crime every year. Approximately 500,000. And by that, I mean attempted murder, manslaughter, rape, assault with a weapon. In 85% of the cases, it is a black perpetrator and a white victim. Only 15% the other way around. Look at the 75 most populous counties in America. Blacks commit 60% of the shootings, 60% of the homicides, and 60% of the robberies. Given that when you discuss this, you're attacked as an Uncle Tom if you're black, or a white supremacist if you're white, is it surprising that someone like Adams at some point says, you know, maybe, just maybe, it would be a good idea for people, for me not to live around people whose values are very different from my own. The shocking thing is that more people like Adams have not said it out loud. Now, you know you love the show, so please hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. We wanna get our subscriptions up. And if you love our videos, that means you don't wanna miss any. So scroll down, get on our mailing list. That way you'll be sure to get all of our videos because believe it or not, from time to time, YouTube has an issue and you may not have the same kind of access that you otherwise would if you're on the mailing list. Also, see that donate button? Hit that, throw a little something in the tip jar. Make sure we can continue to give you hard hitting programming. Larry with Epoch.com, Larry with E-P-O-C-H.com. Now again, you can always leave a message, 888-971-7243, 888-971-SAGE. Make sure your message is under 59 seconds. And por favor, no profanity. I'm Larry Elder. This has been the Larry Elder Show for Epic Times. We've got a country to save. I'll see you next time.